Good afternoon. Hi everybody. Uh, this is a recipe that we're going to bring to you from Bear Cottage. And what we're going to do today is we're actually going to make some chocolate and blueberry muffins. So what I've done is I've laid out all the ingredients so I can just add them. And they're really nice and delicious. They are normally cooked at a preheated oven at 180 degrees. So I've just preheated my oven. Behind me I have my butter melting. So in this dish here, I have 300 grams of self-raising flour. To that, I'm going to add 100 grams of sugar. What I like to do is just give it a little stir so that it's all evenly distributed. And then in this bowl here, I shall add my two eggs. Excuse me, two eggs here. Okay. And then we're going to add a cup of milk. All right. We're just going to give it a little bit of a whisk just to break those yolks up so it's evenly distributed to the dry ingredients. Okay. And then we've got our butter just melting in the saucepan. Just give that a little bit more of a melt and then we can add it to our milk and egg. So while that's happening, we can Half a cup of blueberries. Half a cup of chocolate bits. And then we've got our butter. We're gonna add into our milk and eggs. And we're going to put this into the ingredients. Give it a good mix around. Okay, and you just wanna, not too much of a good mix actually. You just wanna fold it through because you want them to be nice and light and airy. All right, I just did. There we go. So just give it so that all that flour is evenly distributed. And then we're going to add that to our patties that we have just here ready to go. Get the mixture. And we're literally just going to put them into our patties, just half full because the self-raising flour will make them rise quite nicely, which is lovely. And if you wanted to, you can change the flavour up. You can add some vanilla into that. You could add some diced apricot, some white chocolate if you wanted to. Uh, I do find pear and vanilla really nice together. Apple and cinnamon's always good to try. And they literally take about 15 minutes to cook, especially if you preheat that oven first, which makes it really nice and light and fluffy. You don't want a heavy muffin. The only way you're going to get a heavy muffin is if you mix it too much and you'll find that it'll go quite doughy. So that's why it's important to get that spoon and just sort of fold it over, well under and over you want to really. Okay and you get quite a few muffins out of this mix too. You probably get a good 15. All right and you can just pop that into your oven. Anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes is fine. There we go. And I'm gonna check them after about 12 minutes and hopefully they'll be very nice and light and we can show you the texture of them when they come out of the oven. Just going to check to see if the muffins are cooked. I like to give them a little press at the top. When they spring back up, they're actually cooked. So, these are beautiful blueberry chocolate muffins. Welcome back to the Bear Cottage Kitchen. We have now got our muffins out of the oven and I think it's really important to see the end result as to how it looks when it comes out. Okay, so we've got our beautiful little patties and if you have a little break of it, look at that. Okay, you've got your blueberry and chocolate, nice and fluffy. Mm, absolutely mm, divine. So what I'm saying is get together, have a blueberry chocolate muffin and thank you for taking the time out and having a look at what we're doing.